Swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me home. Swing low, sweet. Coming for to carry me home. I looked over Jordan, and what did I see? Coming for to carry me. Oh, I saw a band of angels coming after me, coming for to carry me. That's why I sing, swing low, sweet chariot, coming for to carry me. Coming for to carry me home. Minnesota Original. Shalom, shalom. Before I begin this lesson, I'm gonna give all praises, honor, and glory that's due to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I'm gonna give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the true leaders of Israel. Also, I'm going to say Shalom to the hopeful elect, the 144,000, along with the one-third men, women, and children that's listening to truth of the city, who the Lord have mercy upon in these last days. So, um, you know, I, and I was, um, you know, you know, the spirit hopped on me to do this video. You know, I, uh, you know, I let my dog outside, you know, tonight, and, you know, I just looked up into the, you know, I looked up into the heavens and, you know, I, um, you know, I seen it. You know, I seen it. You know, I seen a chariot, man. So, you know, the spirit hopped on me to do this video. All right, I pray that the video is edifying. So, um, I'm gonna start with Matthew chapter 24 and verse 30. It reads, "And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven." All right, and the sign of some, the sign of the Son of Man in in heaven. I right, talk about the chariots. All right. And it says, and then shall the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Yeah, man, you know, when the Lord comes back, you know, when the Lord comes in return. All right. It says all the tribes of the earth shall mourn. All right. And that goes back to Revelation um, 1 and 7. Man. You know, the day of the Lord, man, is is is. You know it's gonna be a terrible day, man. You know the, the Lord when he crack when he Lord come back in the chariots. All right, they see a so-called black black skin man. All right, they, they see the angels. 
all right, with, you know, so-called angels. You know, they see the angels, you know, uh, black skin too, all right, with, with woolly, with woolly, with woolly white hair, all right, and, um, you know, beards on their face, all right, you know, these, these people, man, you know, scripture says they, 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 they you know, they shout more, you know, you know, people gonna be, you know, people gonna be shitting themselves, man, when the day of the Lord comes, all right, the Lord come back in the chairs with the angels, all right, it says, read that again, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 30, and then shall appear the sign of the son of man in the heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn, and they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. Man, the Lord going to be coming back with, with the spiritual powers. All right. Verse 31. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet. All right. As the trumpet, you know, I talk about destruction. All right. Destruction is coming. It's coming to, to America, man. It's coming to Babylon. And it says, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of the heaven to the other. All right. You know, so. The elect, all right, the elect is going to be saved from, from destruction, all right? The elect is going to be saved from thermonuclear missiles, all right? And it says, gather together his elect from the four winds and from one end of the heaven to the other, right? You know, because, you know, Israel, you so-called Blacks, Hispanic, and Native Americans, all right? You know, we scatter. We scatter amongst them. We scatter in the four winds of the earth, all right? So, you know, it's not only... You know, we, we, you know, the, um, you know, the, it's like it. the Jakes, you know, the, you know, you got Jakes, you know, all across, all across the, all across the world. All right. You got, you know, Israel scattered amongst all nations. All right. You got, you got Israelites scattered over there in China, Hong Kong, um, Japan. All right. You got Israelites scattered, um, in Germany, Russia, Italy. All right, um, you got you got um, you got Israelites scattered in Africa. All right, Israelites are scattered amongst the four. You know, it's, it's, it's scattered amongst all nations. All right, and, and and the elect. All right, you know we the Lord. I mean, the angels is gonna gather together the elect from the four winds of the earth. All right, let me get my next precept. This is uh. Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 10. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentile seek, and his rest shall be glorious. All right. It's like him read that again. And in that day, there shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of of the people to it shall the gentiles seek and his rest shall be glorious right? our, our rest is going to be glorious man you know we we not you know we, we not at rest all right micah 2 and 10 say um so like, yeah, let me just get it you know for uh, butcher it up micah chapter 2 and verse 10 arise ye and depart for this is not your rest because it's polluted. It shall destroy you with a sore destruction. Kind, you know, this is not our rest, man. You know, this is not our rest. You know, we, we, we constantly, you know, we got a slave for Esau. Brothers working five, six, seven, seven days after week, 12 hour shifts. All right. Just to make ends meet, man. Let me read that again. Isaiah chapter 11, verse 10. And in that day shall be a root. There shall be a root of Jesse, which shall stand for an ensign of the people. To it shall the Gentiles seek, and his rest shall be glorious. You know that, and, and you know that's 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 what the elect is waiting for. All right, we waiting to get the hell up out of this captivity. All right, to be under subjection under these devils, man. All right, verse eleven, and it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the to recover the remnant of his people yo this is you know it's the second time all right the first time was you know during ancient egypt with you know crossing the red sea by the way of moses 
all right and you know um in, in this delivery man all right this delivery is going far surpass you know the um it's, it's going far surpass the um the, the the first exodus all right and it says which shall be left from assyria and from egypt and from pathros and from cush and from elam and from shinar and from hamath hamath and from the islands of the sea right you know so you know that's you know that's basically saying you know our people were scattered our right, man our people were scattered amongst all nations man you know we got israelites looking like um we got israelites looking like so-called chinese people we got israelites looking like so-called arabs all right we got israelites looking like so-called white people we got israelites looking like so-called africans all right but they but they um but they um spirit is of jake man their spirit is of jake all right so let me read that one more time. This is Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 11. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall set his hand again the second time to recover the remnant of his people. All right, the remnant of his people, man. You know, he, he the Lord's not coming back to save all people. The Lord's coming back to save his elect. The Lord's coming back to save his elect, man. The elect, one third of Israel. Two thirds of Israel is going to be cut off and die. All right, which shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Shinar and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea. All right, so uh, we get another precept. This is Jeremiah chapter 16 and verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days. Come, say if the Lord Yahweh Bashim was shy, that it shall no more be said, The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Egypt. Let me slack it. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. Alright? You no, know, we were just talking about that, man. You no, know, the Lord, you know, the Lord, you know, the um this this the Lord's second coming, man. Alright, it's it's going far surpass. Um, the first exodus, man. It's, nobody's gonna talk about, you know, the um, the first exodus. Nobody's gonna be talking about Moses, uh, the children of Israel, and Moses crossing the Red Sea. All right, as you know, everybody's gonna be talking about this deliverance. All right, in verse fifteen, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel. From the land of the north, all right. The north is talking about um, America, all right. And from all the lands whither he have driven them, and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. All right, that land he talking about, man. It's talking about um, the land of Israel, all right. You know, we, we got these uh, so-called Jewish people living in there, all right, defiling, defiling that land. All right, the Lord's gonna have to, you know. The Lord is gonna have to start over in that land. All right, you know all type, all type of abominations going on over there. All right, they got that gay pride festival every year. All right, all type of abominations going on over there. All right, so um, let me read that one more time. Jeremiah sixteen and verse fourteen. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. All right, verse 15, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. You know, that's that's, that's going to be that's going to be the new hot topic. All right. The the um the the second exodus. All right. The second exodus is going to be the new hot topic. All right. And it says, and from all the lands, whether he had driven them and I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. All right. So the Lord, you know, he he going he going you know, he going to gather up all his elect from all the four corners of the earth. All right? Cuz you know like I said, you know, the Israelites were scattered amongst all these nations, all right? So you got the elect over there in in, in Germany, you got elect scattered abroad in in Italy, all right? London, um Africa, you got the elect in Hong Kong, China, 
All right, the elect is scattered amongst all these nations. All right, and and the the Lord and these the angels is gonna gather up his elect. All right, so the, um, you know that was it on this lesson. You know, you know, you know, I through the Spirit. You know, I I came up with this. You know, this, through the Spirit. You know, I brought out this lesson. You know, because you know, like I said, you know, I let my dog outside. You know, I looked up into the heavens. You know, and I seen some chariots, man. And you know. You know, that sparked me to do this video. All right, pray that the video is edifying. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakakwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai is who this world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Also, I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, 144,000, along with the one third men, women, and children that listen in truth and sincerity. All right, to the next lesson, I'm going to say Shalom.